Hey guys, it's Layla. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a little minute, but I did promise you guys at some point I was going to come on here and talk all about my haircut and also my summer of wash and go journey. So, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that sometime, like maybe the beginning of last month, I can't remember, but I did go ahead and cut my hair. I put a picture right here. I also like posted it on the community tab on on here on YouTube. Um, so most of you did see it. So the hair is currently about right here. Um, and I absolutely love it. But I also wanted to share a little bit about how it's going for me. Products I've been using, product combinations that I like. Um, and of course tools that I've been using as well as a dryer that I bought. I recently bought a, um, a stand dryer that I'm completely in love with and I wanted to give you guys a mini review because I have been using it for a few months now um, and I have an idea of like the things I like and things I don't like about it. So the pros and the cons of it. Um, and I hope this video will be helpful for somebody. Uh, I will be back with an actual wash and go video so a video showing you guys like basically what I do with my hair I'm not a wash and go professional so let's not call it a tutorial <laughs> but basically I'll show you guys what I do with my hair and how I'm finding it um and hopefully yeah it'll be helpful to somebody out there all right oh before we jump right in this is my nephew Jacob he's been attached to me like glue he's not feeling well um and he loves his auntie isn't it you say hi? Are you gonna say hi? No? Kiss kiss? Oh baby. That's okay. Okay, so basically to give you guys an idea of what I've been doing for the last I wanna say maybe six weeks. It might be more than that now, it just becomes a norm. But essentially, over the last um, six weeks, I'll put the correct amount of time on the screen, but over the last few weeks, um, I have only been doing wash and goes, which is the first time um, I've ever adopted a practice like that since I've been natural in like the last decade. I've done wash and goes previously, like here and there, like ad hoc, as just a style that I would wear as an alternative to like another style. Um, but they've never really been like my go-to hairstyle as most of you will know. Um, we don't really be doing Wash and Girls on this channel like that. But I've really been enjoying it. <laughs> I've just been enjoying wearing my hair out. Um, it's up today because I'm washing it tomorrow and it just looked a little bit crazy. So I thought I'd pull it up and look a bit decent for you guys. But I have been avoiding anything that puts tension on my hair because I am trying to grow my edges back. You tired? Okay. Because I'm trying to grow my edges back, I'm trying to do low tension to the point where it's like absolutely no tension. So I haven't been doing like twist out, spread outs. I haven't been doing um, ponytails. I haven't had a sleek pulled back pony in like forever okay guys so yeah prior to this I think I because I had like my braids and stuff like that so I want to say maybe in the whole of this year so far I don't think I've worn a slicked back pony which breaks my heart okay I live for a middle part sleek ponytail yes actually maybe I'm lying I had it for my birthday don't mind me I had it. For, I had. I did it for my birthday in uh, February. But basically, since my birthday, I haven't had it. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, like I said, I've really been enjoying wearing wash and goes and just wearing my hair out every single day. Um, I wake up, I take my scarf off, I just wear my hair out, free, free, dandy, like free. Um, and one thing that I will say is the reason, the main reason why I avoided wearing wash and goes as a prolonged like hairstyle or an adopted hairstyle is because I was really worried about single strand knots um, or the accumulation of single strand knots just based on the nature of my tightly curly coily hair, right? 
Um, so usually even when I would wear wash and goes, like maybe like by day five, I would wash it out or something like that. So what I've been doing is I keep my wash and goes for like five to seven days, seven days being the maximum. Actually, let's say like four to seven days. Um, and what I've actually realized is that I haven't really been getting like crazy single strand knots. The things that I thought would be happening to my hair when I would wear a prolonged wash and go actually hasn't been happening, which I've been pleasantly surprised about. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> so it's when I decide I'm talking that he wants to now be humming. You want to go to grandma? No? You just want to chill there and hum when I'm talking. <laughs> um so that's been like a really pleasant surprise my hair hasn't been like my hair hasn't dried out so it hasn't been super dry it hasn't been um any of the things that I essentially thought would happen with me wearing a prolonged wash and go but I mean once again keeping in mind that like four to seven days is within the period that I would wash my hair um, and prior to wearing wash and goes, that's the frequency at which I wash my hair anyway. Like, I make sure I wash my hair at least once a week. Sorry, there was like an eyelash in my eye. Anyway, so not much has changed in that sense. In terms of, like, the frequency at which I wash my hair, nothing's changed. Um, products that I've been using to wash my hair, I have been trying out new products specifically um, to give me a better outcome for my wash and go. So I thought I'd show you guys some of those products now. Um, yeah, okay, so cleansers, shampoos. I've still been using my Camille Rose Lavender Cleanser. You guys know I'm, I'm in love with this whole Camille Rose Lavender range. You've heard me talk about it a million times. So this isn't necessarily a new product. But I have been using the Living Proof Curl range, which is new for me. So I've been using the conditioner from the range. As well as the shampoo. And the reason I've been using these is because I do have the matching gel styler. So I just wanted to use pro products that are designed to be used together. Do you know what I mean? So I just felt like because I'm going for like a specific style, um, using specific types of products, I wanted it to be products that are designed specifically to work together as much as possible. Um, so I have been using like ranges together. I've also been using the Weedad um, Climate Advanced Climate Control Shampoo and Conditioner. And the main issue that I have with my wash and goes is humidity. My hair swells a lot. Um, even when I do like twist outs and stuff, you guys can see that um, a lot of the volume of my hair is like swelling, like it expands like crazy. So for me to have a wash and go that will last longer than a few days, I just need humidity to be at bay <laughs> at bay so um i've tried this is the shampoo this is what it looks like and this is the matching conditioner i mean when it comes to cleansers you guys already know the deal for me i as long as it cleans my hair, that's my number one thing. As long as the shampoo cleans my hair, um, I'm happy. I like I like that clean feeling. I like that squeaky clean feeling. So I feel like both the Living Proof and the Weeda do just that. Um, they really give your hair like a nice thorough clean. For me, neither of them felt stripping, but neither of them feels like conditioner either. So it doesn't leave my hair like super soft and... <sighs> mushy <laughs> but it leaves it clean um but you know still with like integrity if you know what I mean it doesn't feel as stripping as a clarifying shampoo 
but it doesn't feel as moisturizing as a moisturizing shampoo which i think makes it perfect for like everyday use if that makes sense or like frequent use um when i did take down my braids before i started my wash and go the whole thing i did do a clarifying shampoo i clarified my hair with i can't remember but i'm gonna put it here oh, oh um function no I can't remember the name. I will put it here. But I do have a clarifying shampoo that I use every now and then. Um, just to give my hair like a good strip down. I usually like to do it when seasons are changing. Um, in addition to like clay washes and stuff like that. So I'll put that here. I did use that to begin with. And then I've just been using like everyday shampoos that literally clean my hair. And um, to the more exciting part. The part that I'm loving at the moment which is discovering new styling combinations or new gel combinations that have been working for me so one um tip that i was given from a, a stylist on instagram actually was to avoid using leave-ins with my wash and goes do you want to get down to avoid using leave-ins with my wash and goes so that they would last for longer um, so that's what I have been doing. I've been using gels directly on my soaking wet hair. And I'm going to start with like my favourite gel so far. Let's come forward. <laughs> so you can see my face. Um, I'm even running low. So this is my favourite gel so far. Um, and it's Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic. Uncle, F Yeah, Uncle Funky's Daughter um, curly magic I've never tried this before so this is the first time I've ever tried this product and um, <laughs> my nephew's touching things Baba no no put it down yeah. this is the first time in my whole journey hair journey that I've tried this product and it's a, like I just love it I love it so much um, I love the definition it gives me. I love um, how it allows my hair to hold on to water. You guys know I'm low porosity, so it's like magic when I... Okay, see ya. Sorry, guys. So my um, battery died on me. But I was basically saying that the first time I used this product, I did go ahead and use it with this together. Um, I really like the combination. However... I felt like by day two, my hair was massive. Um, so I did go on Instagram and I, a whole bunch of you guys gave me a whole bunch of tips. Um, you know, I don't pretend to be an expert in something that I'm not an expert on. I'm not going to come and, you know, whatever. So I literally asked for help and you, you guys came through. So I do appreciate you for doing that. But um, yeah, I feel like I am better equipped at using this product and... After numerous trial and errors, um, I feel like I know how best it works for my hair and I'm really enjoying it. Um, so yeah. So these are some of the stylists that I use. I'll show you which other ones I've been using and I like. Um, I really like the Living Proof Gel. Which looks like this. Um, I love this gel and I like it because it works really well with other products. So I have used it on top of this. So this combination is a really good combination. I really, really like it. It works really well together. Um, and what I feel like this does, it, it just helps my wash and go to have better hold and it lasts much longer so what i will say is that what i've noticed for me personally if i want my wash and go to last longer than um let's say like two three days then i need it to have more hold on day one um hold and not crunch which is something i had to learn is like a difference so when i use eco styler eco styler gives me amazing hold amazing curl definition but my hair just feels like dry <laughs> on a cellular level uh, dry um but this gives me hold that doesn't feel dry do you know what i mean i don't know how else to describe it but seeing as i've mentioned eco styler i just want to say to you guys 
this eco styler um i don't know if you can see because there's so much light but this is the super olive 10 times moisturizing eco styler i can't speak on its moisturizing abilities in comparison to any of my other eco stylers they um i feel like they're all pretty much the same but what i will say is that this gives me the best the best curls ever like it gives me the best curls ever right however it is it does make my hair feel dry on a cellular level so i don't really use it i don't i mean i used it for my first ever wash and go when i started this whole process but i haven't used it since um and so i just want to say if you don't mind that kind of crispness then give this a go but for me i'll probably just stick to using it for like the stuff i use eco styler for which is like sleek um slicked back buns and stuff like that but i thought i should share that okay so the next um gel that i really like is uh, you've seen me i've used this for a wash and go on my channel before i'll try and link the video there so you guys can check it out but it's the um, Aunt Jackie's Flaxseed um, Don't Shrink Curl Elongating uh, Gel. Sorry, I just went blank. I've used this by itself with um, an Aunt Jackie's Leave-In. So I figured those two products work together because it's said to use them together. Um, and I loved the results. I really, 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 really loved the results. The actual reason I bought this was to try it um along with this so to put this on top of this and see how that works out i haven't done it yet we'll do it tomorrow when i wash my hair but um yeah i just quickly wanted to show you guys basically what i've been doing i know there's been no hair updates from me and i wanted to um come in here and just let you know what i'll go on for my hair you know what i'll go on for my life and so i'm just going to show you my edges and sh so you can see how my edges are doing and once again, the main reason why I'm trying to do no tension styles is because of my edges. I'm just trying to grow them back without really having to do anything to them. So, yeah, that's basically it. They're dry, but this is how my edges are doing. Okay. So, as you can see, it's actually recovering from me doing absolutely nothing to it. And by absolutely nothing, I mean, like, I do nothing. Why is it so bright? It's so bright. Um, yeah, I literally mean that I do nothing. Absolutely nothing to it. I put nothing on them. I don't... I don't moisturise them. I don't do anything other than shampoo, condition, and apply gels. And that's it. That's all I've been doing and they are improving. I'm very happy about that. I'm very, 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 very happy about it. So I'm gonna continue doing my wash and goals for the rest of the summer. Um, and then I'll probably just return back to my low manipulation hairstyles. As usual, I have been finger detangling. You guys know finger detangling is my thing. If you'd like to see my video on how I do my finger detangling and all that great stuff, um, feel free to check it out. I'll link it up there. I have a whole guide to like my process of finger detangling. And what works for me essentially is that I like to detangle my hair throughout the whole entirety of my wash day process. Um, and I've adopted the same thing whilst doing all these wash and goes. So I finger detangle through my shampooing. I finger detangle through my conditioning and then because of the fact that I rake product through my hair like section by section like small section by small section I want to ensure that my hair is thoroughly detangled so I do use tools I do go in with tools so I either use my detangling brush this red one um, which I've had for a while now they're gonna focus yeah i've had this for a while now as you can see some of the teeth are um literally visiting somebody they're not here they're not present <laughs> um i bought this on amazon it's actually called 
it's a tangle wrangler and it's designed for horses and the felicia leatherwood brush is actually designed based on this brush so when she first started she used to recommend that everybody would get a tangle wrangler um and that's how i knew about it and got one this is like years and years ago when i like met her um years ago uh and then because people loved it so much she developed her version of it which is wider and better and nicer and i don't have it okay so <laughs> i still use my tango wrangler and then i've also been using these two um i've had this for a couple of weeks and i've had this one since forever so these are both tangle teasers this is the for curly hair tangle teaser for afro afro curly hair right so it looks like this um it's the one that has the multiple teeth layers and then i've got this one which is the naturally curly um tangle teaser which is developed for kinks curls and coils um so essentially it's kind of this it's the same thing but with a handle um and i i very much love the fact that there's a handle on it so yeah i will show you guys how i use this in my my video finally the last tool the last two tools that i use um quite important i mentioned in my previous video that i have given up on investing time for my hair to dry i just don't want to do it anymore so i did buy a stand dryer For the last 10 years, I just, I've been wasting hours, 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 um, waiting for my damn hair to dry. And I don't have those hours to give anymore. I just don't want to give them. So I bought a stand dryer, which has really been helping with my wash and goes. I figured if I'm going to do wash and goes for the whole summer, I just didn't want to wait hours for my low porosity hair to finally dry. Like, no. So... I ordered a dryer um, and I've been loving it. So I did get, oh, I don't keep it assembled. There's three parts to it. So there's the hood, there's the stand and there's the feet. I don't have space to keep it constantly assembled. So I do disassemble it, those three pieces. I keep one piece here, one piece there and another piece outside. Um, but this is basically what the hood looks like. And this is the Babyliss um, Pro Stylist Tool Hooded Dryer. I picked this up on Amazon. I will put a link in so you guys can check it out. Um, this is what the top looks like. So this is where the fan is and the excess air comes out. I'm going to sit back a little bit more so you can see it in its full glory. But this is what it is. And I bought it because the description says that it's got like inbuilt diffuser okay it's got an inbuilt in diffuser um and then also i bought it because it doesn't have um like a vortex heat if that makes sense so the heat isn't fanned um which would cause the hair on top of my head to like blow around so it's not that type of dryer which is what i wanted i didn't want the ones where the, the air moves in like a vortex, which means that it's moving your hair, which would cause frizz and all that stuff. So I purposely wanted a hooded dryer where the air just comes out, like it blows out instead of fanning out heat. Apologies, there's noise outside. Hopefully my microphone isn't picking that up. But um, that's basically why I picked this up. And I'll show you what the inside looks like. So the air just comes out in all these different like holes and then it also has, where's my hand's trying to find it, okay. So it also has this right here which allows you to control if you want heat from the very top or not, right? So you can open and close that. Um, so when it's essentially closed, 
then you've got like the diffused air that comes from the edges instead of the very top and then when this is open you have the air coming from everywhere so usually I will sit underneath the dryer with this on for about 20 to 30 minutes and I do it on medium heat um, medium heat uh, and high speed air <laughs> okay and then once the top of my hair is dry to avoid like excess frizz at the top I just um, close it so then the air is coming around from the edges okay so this is where the, your heat settings are so hopefully I don't hopefully you guys can see that but it's um, on a one to three so you can have what well, a zero there's two heat settings there's basically nothing um uh, oh sorry this is the speed no 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 sorry this is the heat setting so there's cold air there's one and then there's like three uh, two I dry my hair on one sometimes I might go up to two if I'm in like a super rush I never sit in two, under two for more than 20 out and um, 20 minutes so I might do like 15 minutes on two and then I'll do the rest of my drying on one and then when all my hair is completely dry I will sit underneath this for like another like 15 minutes on cold air just to set the style this also has an ionic function so I like to keep it constantly on so the ionic function is always on to ensure that my cuticles are safe and healthy and then this side has the speed so there's no speed there's one speed and then there's two speed and mine is always on two I just leave it on there because I mean what's one gonna do for me and then basically it's activated once the visor comes down so when you bring the visor down this is what it looks like and it automatically turns the hooded dryer on when you put the visor up it locks in place and the dryer goes off um so yeah that's basically it for that i keep it in a corner in my room um it doesn't take up much space if i'm completely honest i will sh put a picture in of like where i keep it and um the only negative thing I have to say about this is that I feel like the visor doesn't come down low enough. It would be nice if the visor would come down some more so that it could accommodate for like the ends of my hair. I feel like you need to have, um, for all your hair to fit inside it, your hair would need to be like super short lengthwise. However, in terms of like width wise, even if you have like really big hair, your hair would fit underneath that, which is something that I was looking for. Um, I saw like the black ones and I watched a few reviews mm -hmm. and most people were like, yeah, like fitting like the yeah. thick natural hair in those was difficult. Um, yeah. And I felt like... This allows me to do just that. So for me, that's a plus in terms of being able to fit the whole of my thick hair in there but the only thing is I just wish that the ends would fit once my hair like dries a bit more and it shrinks because like I said my hair is shorter once it shrinks then the shrunken hair actually does fit in the visor but the length of my hair prior to shrinking doesn't so what I do in addition to sitting underneath this is that I also go in with my Dyson blow dryer Okay, so this is my Dyson blow dryer. This is just the case that it comes in. Um, I've got the orange one. Everyone seems to have like the pink one. But this is the one that I have. And I use this because I love like the, the heat technology that it has. That it has. <laughs> What's going on? Basically, it just allows my hair to dry really quickly with minimal heat. Um, and I use it with the diffuser attachment. I'll show you what it looks like. It's quite big. And when I say it dries my hair really quickly, I mean it does just that. So this is the diffuser attachment. And what I'll do is I'll show you guys all of this in my actual wash and go video. But I just use it to cut the ends, cut the ends, 
to dry the ends and then um, I'll step out and then if there's any parts of my scalp that's still damp I will go in with this in those areas I don't like squash my hair with it I just hold it at a distance so that the air can actually like travel to the areas that it needs to um, and then I will go back under ciao and then I'll go back underneath the hooded dryer I'll pull it back down on the cool air and like I said I'll sit underneath it for about 15 minutes on cool air just to cool my hair all the way down and just ensure that I have like a nice shiny finish cuticles are like laying back down anything that's raised is now like relaxed and chilled and set in place it really sets the hair in place if I go ahead and do a cool shot for about 15 minutes afterwards all together my wash and go wash day okay so i'd say it's about an hour 15 minutes to wash detangle and apply my product in shower so about an hour to an hour 15 and then another like 45 minutes drying my hair jacob 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 He's literally not looking at me because he knows that I'm about to tell him off. Um, but yeah, it takes me about, what's that, two hours? Not three hours. About two hours um, all together for my wash and go wash day. And that's what I've been doing, man. That's all I've been doing, guys. Like, that's it. And I just wanted to update you guys and, like, share my findings and all that good stuff. And if you have any questions, do leave them below. Like I said, I will also share with you my wash and go wash day and what that looks like for me so yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching what i believe is going to be a long ass video 